Welcome to Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, home of the A's. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. The Atlanta Braves going up against the Oakland Athletics. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, just about set to go. So here's the lefty, number 38. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Ronald Acuna Jr. stands in now, looks at that one inside. The pitch and a foul ball. One one now. Ball two. Just the third pitch of the night, and already a little question on the strike zone of the umpire in this one. That one finds the corner. That is strike two. Left field. Lede under it. Makes the grab one away. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. They do a lot of things well in this offense, Zingy. They control the strike zone. They make pitchers work hard for outs. And as a result, one of the better OBP teams in the league. Well, what I love about it is it's an organizational philosophy. Whether you go to instructional league, whether you go to spring training, you see these guys even during batting practice when it doesn't matter, Whoa, right they're practicing that type of approach, Boog. And when you have that filtering through the organization, even when you call up a player, he steps right in and continues with the pattern that they have established at this level, which ultimately leads to a lot of success. One down, base is empty. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Diaz slings to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. The third baseman, Austin Riley. Here's Austin Riley. You know, you translate on base percentage. It's basically this. Teams that have a high on base percentage, they don't make outs at a very high rate. As my buddy Joe Sheehan says, OBP is life. Hammers that one. Deep left field and forget it. Austin Riley goes deep, his 11th of the year, and just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. A switch hitter batting right. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Ozzie Albies, a young guy that's putting together an impressive resume. Already two times an all star, twice he's won the Silver Slugger, and he's one of the smallest players in the league. Next offering upstairs. Yeah, but he packs a lot of punch in that bat, especially from the right side. This is a guy that had four grand slams before his 23rd birthday. The only other players with four grand slams before their 23rd birthday, Ken Griffey Jr., Eddie Matthews, Ted Williams, and John Carlos Stanton. The pitch. In the air, left side. Lede moving under it. Makes the catch. 
And that'll do it. Atlanta draws first blood with a solo shot. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're dialed into the show. I'm in a hurry. There's nothing that can stop me. You best be watching because I'm putting on a show. Tell me what you know before Back in Oakland. And today's starting pitcher, Bryce Elder. What's the word on him? Yeah, and as Whip tells you, he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So they're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a speed threat, Este Yuri Ruiz. First offering, and it just misses. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Into second base, the tying run is on with a leadoff double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Number 49, up next for the A's. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Ruiz leads off second with nobody out. Tried to hold up on the 0-2. Now a look down to third. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Kenny Jansen. And he'll two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Oh, and two now. That's that one ball. missed. One ball, two strikes. Up the middle. One gone, bottom half of the first. Had time now to check out the A's lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slug and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. So here's Brown at the plate. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Good eye right there. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. Yeah. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And a pitch. And a ground ball to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Well, there it is, a little old-school manufacturing of a run after that double. Ground out to get him over and another ground out to get him in. Nice job to get that RBI. Oledmiz Diaz now. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. And a foul ball. comes the 01. And that one missing low. And a count one and two. The pitch. 
That's in. Ball two. Way high. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Tied up here in the early going. Three. Right through there. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. So they get one run. One hit. No errors. No one left. We move to the second here in Oakland. All tied 1-1. Back here at the ballpark, we top of the second. Play. Now it's the Atlanta the catcher, catcher, Sean, Sean Murphy. Murphy. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Kicks and deals. And it's even up. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Two and one now. Foul ball there. On the ground to the that left, and that's just foul. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Next pitch is popped up. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's one away. That is good. The designated hitter, Marcel Ozuna. Here's Marcel Ozuna. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Boo, do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Hey. Kevin Pilar stands in now and watches strike one. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And yes, he offered at it. The pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And now the lefty. Ball one, one ball. there. Two straight. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. And now the count filled up three and two. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And here it comes. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes that in that A.B. I know that was a ground shot. ball, but it was absolutely Orlando. hammered through the Orfield. infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. So first and second with one man gone. Here's Orlando Arcia. In there, and it's 0-1.
and a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Umpire behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once you establish that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. So first and second with two outs. Michael Harris will hit next. Just off the outside part of the plate. And the 1 0. Nice. There's the strike. 1 and 1. That's and that's in the dirt. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Left hand batter waits. And delivers outside. Ball out there on the mound. He's got to go right after this hitter because you don't want to turn this lineup over. This is the guy that you've got to get that final out, get out of this inning. Fouls one away and now three and two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Line drive. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Two left for Atlanta. Score remains tied 1-1. One, one. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. Loriano comes up the hit. Elder back to work. There's a strike. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Olsen settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. This is J.J. Blade. And that's in there for strike one. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Oh, and two now. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. A towering home run, his fourth home run of the season. It's 2-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. And now here is Jonah Bride up the middle, and it's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Wide throw, and it gets away. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone 
that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now the shortstop, Nick Allen. And first offering is fouled off. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Right. At third, Langoliers over at second with one down. Not Boy, even one. close there. One ball, one strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put them in center field. The 2 1. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Tap back up the middle. Over to first, two down. The center field, number one, Neste Yuri Ruiz. Neste Yuri Ruiz. Up next for the A's. Doubled in his first A.B. Hey. That one's in there, 0-1. 0-1. Two outs, two in scoring position. Check swing, now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. And a pitch. And Good another ball. ball. That misses off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That's hard hit in the line. And Acuna able to make the grab. Oakland gets one on this homer as the A's are on top. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. of the third inning and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. If you don't get ahead in the count you can forget about having any success against him. Here comes a pitch. So Boog you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh Siggy I dig it. The Braves base color is red and blue but he adds the yellow that kind of represents the Venezuelan flag, the country that he hails from. And he He's handles out. it himself for the out. Now batting. The first baseman. Matt, Matt Olson up to the plate. Olson. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Ball. That one misses. Ball one. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Next Two offering more. way off the plate. Let's go, Oakland. 
at the belt and fires. Pitch misses there, and now three and one. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first, heading for two. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Now, nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Man, it's second with one away. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. The solo homer his first time. Foul ball. Man at second. That one found hard the other way. Oh, and two now. And that one is inside. And a ball evens the count. Runner at second here, one gone. In the air, out towards left center. Two away down. The batter number one, second baseman, Ozzy Albee. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. The other way. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Braves strand one, and our score remains 2-1. Back here in the East Bay, bottom of the inning, digging in for Oakland, number 49. Elder, back to work. That's in there. That's a strike. No ball, two strikes. The 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the, the hands back Number long 15. enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. So now the DH spot, Seth Brown. And first offering is fouled off. Brown goes six foot one, 225 pounds, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. The next oh, offering outside. misses, outside. and now it's even one and one. You know, Boo, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're oh, playing right in now. Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. 2 1 now. Hey. Two ball, two strike. 2 2. Three, two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball.
Looking for the K. Two outs, bases Down empty. Back. And it's base. a let miss Diaz. Let miss. He was a strikeout victim Diaz. his first time. Ball, Ball one goes. low. Two down, nobody on. Nope. Swing and a foul straight back. In the air, out to center. Harris has a beat on it. And that is that. A's go quickly and quietly there. They lead it 2-1. Back in Oakland, here's the power hitting catcher, Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy. The pitch. And ball one. You know, these Braves do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Diaz slings the first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Marcel Ozuna next up for the Braves. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And that one fouled off. On the ground. Boots it. Up next for Atlanta. Man at first with one gone. Kevin. Now the left fielder, Kevin Pillar. Ball one, no strikes. And he deals. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, a head 2-0 has put himself in a really good spot. Let's go, Oakland. Swing back. That's to third. He dives, but he can't make the catch. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. His first hit bat was a strikeout. In there for strike one. That one missing inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The 1-1. One -one. Fought off foul. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Fights it off, he'll see another. Out, 
Here's a one-two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. And that one almost got him. Kicks and fires. And yeah, that's outside. Michael Harris next to bat for the Braves. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Kicks and deals. And he walked him. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Michael Harris. He's over one. In the air, left field. Lede settles under this one. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. A big run scores on the sack fly. It's 2-2. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Here's Acuna now. And fouled off. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And now the count is even. Out to short, Allen. They take the force out. They limit the damage here. One run in the inning, but they leave two. To the bottom of inning number four now. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. The wind and the pitch. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. You know, these athletics showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Under it is Acuna to make the grab, and Laureano is retired. One down. J.J. Bladé up next for the A's. He's already homered in this one. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up oh, to do more man. damage later in this game. Check swing. He oh, went, oh, and it's one and one. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball still, a one and two count. The wind of the pitch. Two ball, two To left center for a base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. One out runner at second. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Jonah Bride. One for one with a single so far. 
And a pop up right side foul territory. Olsen pulls it in for the out. And there's two away. Now batting catcher. Shea Langoliers now at the plate. Doubled his first time up. That one is absolutely belted. Out of here! It's his eighth home run of the year. And that gives him the lead. It's 4-2. recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it at the play nick allen that's a laser base hit and that's going to get into the corner takes the turn he's digging for second the throw in and that's a double Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So the batting order turns over. Here's the center fielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. Ball. First offering misses the mark. And a pitch. This to third. Riley fires the first. Out number three. The A's with a two-run blast. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Matt Olson. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. You know, these Braves doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. Made a bid for a nice opposite field double down the line. Beautiful swing, but nothing you can do about the result. Third basemen are just used to handling hot shots like that. So digging in, Austin Riley. He's already homered here in this one. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. That one misses the zone, and that's ball one. Next one is off the play. Ball two. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. They say you win. Three balls, one strike. And there's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. The batter number one. Second base. One gone runner at first. Next to hit, Ozzie Albies. Sneaks through, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. So here's Murphy now. Hey now 
Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Here comes Riley. He'll score, and it's a one-run game. Big time at bat right there. Comes through, and they're back within a run. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Time runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. That would strand him and in the inning. Two on, one out. Marcelo Zuna digs in now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Just missed. Action in the pen down there. Luis Medina is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Fujinami getting cranked up as well. Runners are at the corners, one away. Ground ball right side could be two to second for one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Back after this on the show. Welcome back. Now the number two hitter, number 49. Yeah, the right hitter back to work. That one's in there. 0-1. You know, these A's, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. All over that one right there. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Seth Brown up next for the A's. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one back. And it's gone. Seth Brown goes deep. His fourth home run of the season. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 6-3. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that is bad food. Aggressive and it paid off. playing wiffle ball up there and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure and let miss diaz now and that's in there for strike one it can be tough to bounce back after a big home run but nobody on nobody out you just have to treat it as a fresh inning You'll one. Swing and a miss. Activity in the bullpen. Jesse Chavez getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Schuster, the lefty, warming up as well. Next offering misses, and it's one and two. It's a good take. And now it's even up. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Just off the inside edge. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Here's Ramon Laureano. First pitch, just misses. Righty delivers. Outside. Shut up. And that's in for a strike. Check swing. He held up. And that's ball three. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Pitch count's getting up there now. And not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Jared Schuster takes over on the mound. The southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's the left fielder, J.J. Bladé. He's already homered in this game. Hey. Pitch is in there. Strike one. They say it went. Oh, two is the count. Ball. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball one. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. This one popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Pilar to third. He's oh. in there. Jonah Bry getting ready to hit one for two. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Loriano, the runner at third. Lede over at first with one away. Fouled off. He was late. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. And there's a ball. ball That's three. a little bit low. Ripped, and this one could be extra bases. One run is in. Lede rounds third, headed for the plate. He's also in to score, and it's 8-3. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. One down, and now the catcher comes up to him. Shea Langoliers. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. That's that misses ball. the zone, and it's 1-0. Oh. And now the lefty, and that is in for a strike. And a count one and one. One out and a runner at second. 
The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Sliced hard, but foul. Two and two. Next offering is outside. in the air left field Pilar makes the grab and there's two down the batter number two shortstop Nick Allen Nick Allen up next for the A's First offering and it just misses. That one two. missed. Two balls, no strike. Two and old to count. Here it comes. That's ball three. I got three and Runner at second, two down. And ball, ball four, four to aboard. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Ruiz stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Out there to center. Harris brings it in, and that is that. So nine batters come to the plate. Four of them score. We're through five. It's the A's eight and the Braves three. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Luis Medina. He last pitched two days ago. Here's Kevin Pilar. Well, they've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. The why to kick the pitch. There's a strike. Medina, 6-1 righty, 23 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Here comes the 0-1. Hey. Outside corner, there's a strike. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Oh, that one right. way outside. It's a ball and two strikes. Takes it in for the out. So up next, Orlando Arcia. Hey. That one's in there, 0 1. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard, it's shut down inning time. 0 1 down. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one's back there. And out of here. A shot to left. Home run number five on the season, and they cut into the deficit. It's 8 4. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark.
So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. That hits the dirt, 1 and 0. And that skips in the dirt. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. And the righty deals. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The right fielder, number 13. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Medina keeping him close. See, here's a nugget on Ronald Acuna Jr. He's the youngest Braves player to win a silver slugger. He won it at age 21. You think about all the talent in the Braves organization. Chipper Jones, Andrew Jones, Freddie Freeman. Very impressive. Acuna in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. A sterling reputation of an organization and turning out so many great players, pitchers in the Hall of Fame. And for him, just to put his name amongst that group this early in his career is so impressive. Right there is Loriano. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Now batting the first baseman, Matt Olson. Matt at first. Here's a big power threat. Matt Olson, one for three. Go, Okies, go! Just missed. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it Ball out two. of the way so the hitter can focus on the two pitch. Out. Harris, the runner at first with two gone. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Two balls, one strike. And that oh, one just good. missed off the outside edge. Austin Riley on deck for Atlanta. Slapped foul. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And the right-hander deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. So now two on and two outs. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Riley, the next to hit, takes ball one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. No strike. That one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. That's and ball. another ball. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position, and a hitter's count. Ozzy Albies to bat next. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. Bases full, two gone. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Ozzie Albies.
Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Long ball draws the Braves closer. It's now 8-4. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and a batter down, number 49. The first baseman, And here it comes. That one ripped, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, safely into second. He's got a double. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Next up for the A's, Seth Brown. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at bat right here. There's a swing and a drive. Acuna going back on this one. Back some more. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Runner tags and goes to third. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders now get about 10 minutes of balls oh, in the right gaps. There. They practice this, yeah. and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And now, Oledmis Diaz. In there for strike one. Runner on at third, one gone. And he's down 0-2 as he Don't swings through it. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. This to center field. Harris makes the catch. Runner tags for home. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Well, as a former outfielder, I love this play. When you get the opportunity to throw a guy out at the plate, makes the catch as the runner tags and a laser throw to the plate on the money for the double play. It's time to go hit. here in the East Bay. Here's Sean Murphy. The Braves in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Medina back to work. There's a strike. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that one is off the batter's eye. Wow, out of here. Sean Murphy circles the bases. And they close the gap. It's 8-5. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. On the pitch now for Oakland, Shintaro Fujinami. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Marcelo Zuna, next up for the Braves. Nope, Just missed. The 1 0. Right side, hard hit. He steps on oh. the bag. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Oh. 
Now the left fielder, Kevin Pillar. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Good eye right there. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. The two on is high. Right hander kicks deals. And there's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And now Orlando Arcia coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. In the air, right field, Laureano sprinting after it. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Pilar around second, headed for third. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. He will score. And now just a two-run deficit. But now he hits the brakes and hustles back to third. Sam Long comes on now. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. First pitch doesn't find the zone. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Arcia takes his lead at third with one away. So two balls and no strikes. And you got to wonder with first base open, one out. Is he going to get a pitch to hit? Next offering upstairs. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. The tying run at the plate. And there's a strike. The 3 1. And Whoa. ball four to a board. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. That one off the mark. Ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. And he deals. On the ground, two ball. Slings to second. Throw to first, but he beat it. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Here is Matt Olson. Now, snap throw to first, oh, he's and he's back in safely. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. And that's in there for strike one. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base.
And the lefty with the 0-1. And that's in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Here's the 0-2. Acuna runs. Can't glove it cleanly. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. They get three runs on two hits, one a solo homer. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the A's eight and the Braves seven. Jesse Chavez on to pitch here. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. And now the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. The right fielder. Laureano. The pitch. In there at the knees. That's strike one. All one's the count. And a foul ball. The pitch. Oh. And now one and two. Let's go, Oakland. And that's two downstairs balls. and two outside. Line drive, caught! Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. So digging in, J.J. Blade. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Close one, doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Joe Jimenez, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. The 1-0. -oh. Outside. The pitch. And that's a strike. And there's a foul ball. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. And a pitch. To the right side. Throw on to Olsen. Two up, two down. Now batting. Third baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Jonah Bride. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. They say it went. No ball, two strikes. Here we go, Oakland. Two outs. On the ground, right side. Takes it himself, oh. and it's a 1 2 3 inning. And the A's are gone in order. They still lead it, though, 
Austin Pruitt will take over here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. And a pitch. Yeah. Strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Kicks and fires. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Right handed reliever. He goes down looking. Now, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Now it's going to be Ozzy Albies. First pitch, just misses. Righty delivers. Hey. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt. Up with it. Fires the first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Now here is Sean Murphy. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Late swing, fouled off. Goes down looking. So they make short work of them there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the A's eight and the Braves seven. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Kirby Yates. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Jay Langoliers now at the plate. The catcher. And the pitch. There's the strike. He swings and fouls one off. The 0-2. Yeah, that's too high. Well, they missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Let's go, baby! Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Allen in the box here lets that one go for a ball. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. That one's in there. That's strike one. And a foul ball. One two now. And now two and two. Got him looking. Fastball to letters throws him for strike three. And now the center fielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. Throw on to Olsen, and that'll do it. And one, two, three, go the A's. And this remains a close one. It's 8 7. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Richard Lovelady. A chance at his first save of the year. Marcelo Zuna digs in now. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. The pitch. Check swing oh. went around. Going one. The pitch. Oh. That's a strike, and the count is one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. Well, that definitely gives this offense some hope right here. Tying run on base. So we'll see if they can find a way to bring him around. Substitution being made at first. Coming in as the pinch runner, Sam Hillier. Number 14, Sam Hillier. There's a strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. That one fouled off. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. Here's the shortstop at the play, Orlando Arcia. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and deals. Ball. Off the mark there. Two balls, no strikes. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. That's in there. And a count two and one.
Here comes a pitch. That's off the mark, and the count is three and one. Michael Harris next to bat for the Braves. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That catches the top part of the zone. Three balls, two strikes. And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. Two away. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. So now pinch hitter for Atlanta, Travis Dardo. He represents the go-ahead run. Hard hit left side. Throw to first and ball game. And the A's strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. And a final, eight to seven. Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Six men on base. For Atlanta, seven runs on ten hits. No errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. They say the chop can't float, but we've been known to be impossible like Broadway Joe.